Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program. Today I'm explaining terms, hopefully in simple, in simple words. And uh, I'd like to thank everyone for the support of this segment. It's proving to be popular. There's... I've reduced the fucking swearing. Whoops! I've reduced the swearing. And I'm going to see whether this serious segment can get some legs and people like it. If you think it's shit, just tell me. If you like it, let me know. And uh, let's have a look. Today, <coughs> let's look at the term minute repeater. What is a minute repeater? Now, let's have a look. Let's see what the, uh, the Bible says here on the... Uh... Actually, this book doesn't cover it. Hmm. doesn't comment what a minute repeater is. Well, okay. A minute repeater itself, it's a watch which obviously tells you the time. So it tells you it's um, 10 to 2. 10 to 2. It's a watch that also often has a slide or some sort of way of invoking the mechanism where it'll tell you the time via an audio tone. So you normally would press a lever or push a button and it would ding for the hours and then a different tone would tell you the minutes. So that's what a minute repeater is. It's called a minute repeater because not only does it tell you the hours and the, the, the quarters, but it tells you down to the minute. It repeats. Now often these type of uh, pieces have different types of tones. You'd have an hour, you would have the, the, the quarters, and you would also have the minutes. So there's a d different couple of ways of uh, skinning the cat, so to speak. But a minute repeater itself is quite a complex thing for a mechanical watch because it's a mechanical watch and it's also a musical instrument. And uh, there's been a lot of talk about what makes the best sound, what's the best minute repeaters there. Patek has a huge investment in minute repeaters and they really, every Patek Philippe has been tested by the, the president of the company. What a, what a outstanding achievement. And they're, they're an expensive piece. Patek Minute Repeaters are big money. We're talking six figures here. And uh, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of beautiful Jaeger Culture. I looked at a Jaeger Culture Reverso Minute Repeater in rose gold. And uh, I think it was about $80,000 new. I was looking at second hand. It was about high 20s. I think it was about 20, 28000 for it. And... Um, the problem with these super exclusive pieces like a minute repeater, it's like buying a, um, a Maserati, a Rolls Royce or a Bentley. And the problem is, is that the, the servicing costs, you really can't just go to a normal watchmaker and say, oh, service my, um, my Jaeger La Cultura minute repeater. You've got to take it to a prof really skilled professional. And uh, you'd almost be more inclined to take it to Jaeger La Culture to get a factory service. And uh, on that particular piece, because I was, this was just before I got the annual calendar, I was, uh, I could have fallen for the minute repeater. Okay. I could have fallen for it. The service from Jaeger La Culture on it is over $4,000. So these highly complicated watches, they can be highly complicated as well. The interesting thing is, I've heard that some people say the best metal for minute repeaters is actually gold. It's better than platinum. And uh, Patek, of course, has, has made some magnificent platinum and gold pieces. And uh, it, it's, it's, it's something, uh, a minute repeater. I'd love to have one. A lot of money. Very expensive to maintain that piece and uh, I'm just glad they exist in the world let's put it that way you know I I hope to God I, I could get one I'd love to have one I'd love a minute repeater a second hand reverso and rose gold that would be thank you 
that'd be great if I if someone did win the lotto and uh, decided to to buy Archie a minute repeater. It's just a cool function. I think I think see a minute repeater is such a usable complication. I mean, tourbillon. You can't you can't really fucking see a tourbillon, okay? A annual calendar. Well, that's useful because it tells you day, date, month. Uh, particularly with unemployment, I find my annual calendar is really useful because you lose track of what day is it, what month is it. It's it's a great thing for a rich person who doesn't have a job to to keep track of time. Same as a perpetual calendar, it's even better. But some of these complications, like a Torbian, we can't really use it or see it. Minute repeat is just so fucking cool. It's a cool complication, and and I. I'd love to have... I'd actually prefer a minute repeater over a tourbillon. There you go. I've said it. Okay? And, uh, yeah, that's, that's what a minute repeater is. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you think.